if someone was to ask me what I think the number one problem in society is, and again, <laughs> I'm not very good at choosing just one thing when I'm asked that question, but I think I think it's solitude. I think it's the fact that we we have no downtime, we have no space. I think one of the negatives that technology has done for all its positives, one of the negatives is, I don't think the negative that's been spoken about enough, which is the fact that it any bit of downtime we previously had has been stolen from us. It's It's been eroded out of modern society because we have something that is going to distract us and it is gonna get our attention. I want you to think about this for a moment. I'm I'm older than you, but I think one thing that we we share in our general age bracket is that to the extent that we are the same general generation, we are the last crop of people who know what it's like to live in a pre-internet world and now live in a fully inter, you know connected world. Our childhood was marked by periods of boredom where we had to go out of our way to figure out creative ways to entertain ourselves. Like the amount of energy that you would have to exude with your imagination to figure out how to spend time was, you know, extraordinary. Fast forward to, you know, the 12 year old now or the 10 year old or the eight year old, they have to exert even more energy to not be distracted, to find boredom, to find stillness. And I think it cannot be overstated how profound a change that is. And I'm not sure that we really appreciate the extent to which that's gonna change the course of, of humanity because what is that person gonna look like in 20 or 30 years when they're an adult? It's gonna be a very different type of being. And I think now, uh, more than ever, we're in a uh, crisis of presence in that we never have to be by ourselves ever again, ever, ever. You have to go out of your way to find a moment of stillness. And who was it who said, you know, all of, all of man's suffering can be boiled down to his inability to spend, you know, time alone with himself? I mean, we don't ever have to be alone with ourselves. And I know that I've found myself struggling with this because of how different my life is now from when I wrote my first book. Now there's so many more things vying for my attention. And a lot of those are driven by technology that you have to, you have to move heaven and earth to create boundaries around yeah. that to carve out a few moments of quiet because you're expected to be... Um, you know, accountable and in communication at every given moment of your waking day. 